This video explains how to drop rows with blank values from a data frame using the Python programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the Python code. As a first step for this tutorial, we need to import the pandas library, as you can see in the first line of code. And then we also need to create an example data frame, as you can see in the second code box. So in this code box, I'm using the data frame constructor to create a new data frame called data. And then I'm printing this data frame below the code box using the print function. So after running these lines of code, you can see that we have created a new data frame containing six rows and three columns, which are called x1, x2 and x3. Now, let's assume that we want to remove all the rows from this data frame that contain blank values. Then we first should replace the blank values by NAN, as you can see in the next part of the code. So in these lines of code, I'm first creating a copy of our data set because I also want to keep an original version of our input data frame. So in this line of code, I'm creating a new data frame called data new one. And then in the next step, I'm using the replace function to replace all empty cells in our data frame by NAN. So after running this line of code, all those planks are replaced by NAN. And we can see that by printing the updated data frame below the code box. And then you can see that all the planks in our data frame have been replaced by NAN. Now in the next step, we can remove those rows that contain NAN values. So in the fourth code box, I'm first creating a copy of our new data frame that I'm calling data new two. And then I'm using the drop NA function to remove all rows with at least one NAN value. So after running these lines of code, you can see that we have created another data frame which contains only two rows. However, all the rows with the NAN values have been dropped. It's also possible to remove rows with NAN values in one specific column. And this is what I want to show you in the next example. So in the first step, I'm once again duplicating our data, new data object that we have created before in a new data set that I'm calling data new three. And then I'm using the drop NA function once again. However, this time I'm subsetting our data frame so that I'm only removing those rows where the column X1 contains an NAN value. So after running these lines of code, you can see that another data frame has been created. And this data frame contains only complete cases in the column X1. However, you can still see NAN values in the other two columns, X2 and X3. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video, so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.